Hello and welcome to my review of the Case Mini Copper Lock. In the Case system this is model number 61749L. And that can get a bit confusing for people who aren't familiar with the Case system but it's relatively simple once you have a bit of an understanding. To break this one down the first number 6 indicates that we have bone handle material. The 1 is the number of blades, in this case it's a single bladed knife. The 749 is the pattern or the design of the actual knife and the L on the end of this one indicates it has a locking blade. The vast majority of case knives do not have a locking blade or, and obviously won't have that prefix on the end of the number because they're generally a slip joint knife. This is a very good little knife for those who do like a locking blade and they like a traditional folder. The size makes it very very suitable for pocket carry which of course is how you must carry a knife such as this because as you can see there no pocket clip attached and you wouldn't want one really because it would tend to cover up the feature of the knife, the nice finish, the bone handles and that type of thing. So it is a traditional pocket carry knife. Before we get too in depth into it, those more perceptive of you would have noticed this is the mini copper lock and by definition you're thinking well there must be a larger one. Well there is and that's the Liga case copper lock which is its full size brother. We'll just bring that in for comparison there. That's the closed, you can just zoom those in. I'll zoom them out and I'll open them up just so you can see the open size comparison on those two knives. And again we'll just zoom that in. I really do love the colour on that large one, that green is just gorgeous. Anyway, we'll get on to colours and things in a moment. We should talk about the specs on the, the mini cop block I guess. Um, it has a clip point blade and just like its big brother it has a swedge round in which you can see there on top of that clip. It features a full length groove for nail opening rather than what is more commonly known as a nail nick and that works quite effectively. The cutting edge on the blade is 2 and 3 eighths an inch or 60 millimetres. The length of the knife open is 6 and 3 sixteenths of an inch or 157 millimetres. When we close the knife up the size comes down to 3 and 1 16th of an inch or 91 millimetres. It also has a quite a slim profile and very light, nice and easy to carry. The weight on this one, 1.9 ounce or 54 grams. So it's the kind of knife you could just put in the pocket of your jeans or trousers or whatever and carry it around very comfortably. There's a lot to be said for the old traditional style knives. I think the um, some of the more modern tactical or tactical style folds tend to uh, freak people out a little bit. A knife such as this is probably a little bit more socially acceptable if you're in that type of environment where that's an issue for you. It's also just a really nice knife to own. These styles of knives are great. They've got the full brass liners as you can see there, nickel silver bolsters, beautiful polished blade which I've put some fingerprints on. We'll just give that a, a quick wipe. It's the only downside of these, the gloss blades, the polished blades do show at every mark, but just generally a nice classy knife. This one is, as mentioned, bone handled. It runs a, or jig boned in actual fact, it runs a barn board pattern. Now there's all sorts of different jigging patterns and you can see there the sort of straight-ish lines in there. That indicates this is a barn board jig pattern. And the reason I got this particular colour combination is I wanted that case badge there. One of the things I look for in my case knives amongst colours and designs is the different badges. And this is the first one I've had with that particular badge which is somewhat reminiscent although different um, than a Chevrolet automobile symbol. You can see there it's got case and a star in USA. So I like to get different colours, I like to get different knife patterns, different um, jigging patterns and also the different badges. As you can see they're held with brass pins which is fairly normal for case. I don't know if I mentioned this is blue, it hasn't got any other designation, it's just blue. And when I first looked at it I was almost a little disappointed. It's a very deep, dark, almost black colour in those grooves. But then out to the edge, once you look at it more closely, and you probably see there if I put some more light on it, it does fade away as they tend to, to some rather nice blues, lighter blues, almost turquoise colours. And I'd actually really quite like it. It's, it's a lot more subtle in that, but once you get out some strong light, and in particular sunlight, the, um, the sort of subtle hues and tones show up really nicely. And uh, I really like that about it. It's one of the features you'll find on Case Nice. We bring that other one in just a have a look at that full size copper lock which is in the green you can see just an amazing array of colours and of course different badge there again but I really enjoy that about the case knives they're just a, a lovely thing to look at and handle and own and they're nice to use as well if you choose to do so if you don't choose to do so which I probably won't be using this one terribly much if at all it's mainly a collectible that's fine too 
Uh, there's nothing wrong with collecting certain knives. I'm getting quite a range of case knives and I think um, I'm really enjoying that, that collector aspect of them. Deployment on this knife, well, it's fairly, it's a traditional two-hand opener. The good news for those of us like me who are left-handed is that because of the amount of blade that's exposed there, you can quite easily just pinch that between thumb and forefinger and open it up without needing to use that groove. One of the great things about this design and its big brother is that you don't see the tang of the knife exposed when it's closed, so it's a nice smooth finish due to that bolster on the front. If we compare it to another knife which I'll show you in a moment, say a buck solitaire, you can see that sort of sharp edge, that exposed tang there, that's, and then you can compare that to the difference with the different design. I really, I really like that. The other thing that bolster design does, of course, is it gives you a nice bit there and it can help prevent your finger from sliding up onto that blade. The lockup's nice and tight, no issues there as you'd expect. You can hear the lockup. In handle retention, the spring's set very nicely, so there's no, no issues with that at all. Case tend to get that right. They should do, they've been at it for quite a while, I guess, but they do make a very nice knife. One of the things to be aware of of case knives, and I'll just polish those fingerprints off again, is to make sure you get the genuine article. There's a lot of uh, counterfeits and that out there in the world these days. So I want, would like to just show you the markings on the blade. This is what you should be looking for. And again, at the top you'll see some stars, and at the bottom some stars and dots. Now what happens with cases every 10 years, that's their numbering system of when the knife was made. I won't go into great detail on it, but this knife was made in uh, 2012. You can see the case symbol under that in USA. USA, I'm sorry. And then we've got the model number as discussed earlier. The SS stands for stainless steel. Case knives come in basically two varieties. You'll see SS for stainless steel or CV for chrome vanadium. So that's what you should be looking for. Be aware, don't buy counterfeits. Get them from a trusted retailer. We just bring it up and have a look at some of the detail. Again, beautiful the blue, contrasts lovely against those brass liners. And then of course you've got the polished steel with the back spring and lock. So from whatever angle you look at these case knives, I, I really just think they're lovely. Beautiful smooth finish, nice handle, no sharp edges closed, just carries a lot very, very nicely. Bone handles have got a nice radius on the edge, so again it's just finished off pretty much to perfection really. I can't fault anything in this knife. So there she is. We'll just compare it size-wise to a couple of other competitive options. Now I rolled this one in before very briefly. This is a Buck model 302, I think it is solitaire. It's slightly longer both in overall length and in blade length. And it's not a locking blade, it's a traditional slip joint. Now I actually don't mind slip joints. A lot of people like prefer locking, I guess I do too for security, but the fact is with your slice, there's no reason they should close. One of the great things about slip joints is it's just so easy to use. You pull them out, make it cut, and you can close them up nice and easy. So that's another traditional sort of option. Um, one that a lot of you guys will be familiar with, the Victory Inox Cadet. This is one I picked up recently in the red Alox, which I really love. That's just a collection piece. I've got a silver Alox I use. Whoops, sorry about that. Slightly smaller in overall length handle and blade, but comparable, I guess. A more modern option is a K-Bar Dozier Mini Folding Hunter. We'll just slot that in there. Cutting edge, fairly close to being the same. But one of the things that's interesting in looking at that particular knife, I guess, is... And modern knives are fine, I've got no problem with them, but it just doesn't have that class, that presence, the beauty of the more traditional knives. It's functional, but you couldn't really call that a beautiful knife or something that you'd, you'd really want to show off or put on a collection. So there it is, guys. That's the Case Mini Coplock. When you're not using it, you'll be wiping your finger marks off it river. But it's a lovely knife, and for those of you who are interested in traditional folders, Maybe you want something to EDC, you prefer a locking blade. You could do a heck of a lot less than consider one of these. The value is really good on them, they're not an expensive knife to buy, and I think it's a knife you can take pride in owning and using. Thanks very much for watching everyone. Bye for now.